These are four ways or paths in order to make it as a comic artist, which means having money to eat while making comics, which seems like a dream, right? And there are four ways that I know of, maybe there are more, but I am just going to mention them in case you overlooked one of them. After you chose the comic style you are going for, or or which ones are you open to, either manga, US comics, European comics, or your own country, you may be ready to focus on either of the following paths. For the sake of the conversation, I will refer to all of them as just comics. Hello everyone, I am MG, a comic artist and a storyteller. Welcome to my channel. And let's start with the first one, editorial. You just have to go to an editorial website and search for a submit button or maybe rules that show you how to present them your work. This way you may be an author, they will publish your comic for you and you will maybe you will write it and make the art with, with the help of a couple of more people. But you also may make it into the industry as a penciler, an inker, a colorist, a flatter, or maybe an artist for another writer. There are so many options for you. It's sometimes a bit scary to go to an editorial, but if you send them your manuscript, the worst thing that can happen is that they don't respond to you, and you would have at least tried. Though you also have to find uh, an editorial that you really want to work with, which, I don't know, maybe that's a discussion for another video, but let's talk about number two, which is making a webcomic and trying the self-employed route. You can make your comic available for free on the internet. It has this slight advantage that it allows for people to know you. So if your work becomes popular, people may be ready to trust you and pay for the products you may create down the line. Usually you can make money from ads, coffee, PayPal, an online art store of products related to your original work, and obviously Patreon, a platform where people pay you in exchange of some rewards. There are also websites such as Webtoon that have ways of contributing to you through Patreon if you have certain statistics or Tapastic that have things such as coins. Only by publishing your web comics for free in platforms such as Tapastic or Webtoon, you may even be reached by these companies. This means your webcomic can become premium or featured. They will offer you a contract in order for you to be able to make your comic more often so readers can enjoy it until you finish it all. So in a way you would stop being self-employed and you are employed by these companies but it's still your story and your art and they will just help you make it better and they will keep you um, from not starving so number three contests I feel contests are a little bit overlooked but they are a very good opportunity to hone your skills and also get something of course you can maybe gain opportunities and maybe sponsors. Sometimes the rewards may not reach your standards and sometimes the competition may be too high. But it's something that you can even add to your curriculum. Some cool contests are the ones I show you in the screen, but my knowledge is limited in this, so of course you will have to make your own research and check which ones are open or which ones are for you and the style that you are going for. Even if the contests you are interested in are closed right now, you may want to make your manuscript while waiting for them to open and that way when they open you already have your manuscript ready or a very big buffer that will help you when that contest opens. Number 4. Freelancing. I already did a couple of, well, a video talking about freelancing so I will just show you so you can check it out. But basically it's you giving your services, usually your art, to a group of writers or some company or an, a, another type of client, I don't know, whatever you may choose. And it may not be your story, but you are still getting to make maybe an amazing story, maybe something that you couldn't have created yourself. And it's, it's very... it's fun, you know, because you are exploring something new by someone else and you will still get to draw for money and you know it's very cool it takes a long time as I said in that video but check it out so that's all for me which path are you going to make to well to follow to make your dreams come true 
and do you know any other ways that that than the ones I mentioned in this video and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe in that red button over there and I will see you in my next video bye